Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... give me a second. It's just... terrible. So... did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs? No voices? Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I... I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea.
blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Just some loose trash. Hey, Sna. You all right? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Where are you going? Are we done? I've seen enough. But... Okay. We should... move her. Before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but... It's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? You see anyone here laughing, sheriff? Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. 
Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off, Buffkin. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that, um, Mr. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. No. Yes, I mean, I questioned it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit... excessive. Mm-hmm. I have the record right here. Give me one moment. Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able. Tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. 
Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Brighten your shitty mood a little. Unlikely. Buffkin, translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. From the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing. I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. 
There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Yeah, that's her all right. A long time ago. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Colin and his brothers. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Me. Not a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. 
Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Big B, it's me, Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. Enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> what kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Colin doesn't make this much of a mess. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? You all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. 
better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sakes, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? 
Okay, Sheriff, now what? wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Look like a shit ugly thing. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this- the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? <sighs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh, this is the job, Snow. You may not like it, but this is the job. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that... Butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. 
You are merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. 